a former friend of Russell Brand has hit out at the actor, claiming he had a tendency to show bullying behavior. It comes after several women have come forward, accusing Brand, 48, of rape, sexual assault and emotional abuse at the height of his fame following a joint Channel 4's dispatches and the Sunday Times investigation. He recently shared a video statement denying criminal and very serious allegations and insisting all of his sexual relationships had been consensual. Now, two more alleged victims have come forward, one claiming that Brand forced kisses on her while pinning her down on a sofa. A sixth claims that he exposed his flaccid penis to her while in Los Angeles, as though he was serving food. Many of Brand's friends have condemned his alleged actions and now broadcaster, Gordon Smart, a former friend has spoken out. Gordon said, I don't think I know his mind well. I know him. I was talking about his eyes and the way they would dart about looking at you. I think he looked terrified in the clip he posted on Friday before publication. He went on to add, Russell, I think, is a narcissist. I think the way the argument is unfolding I find quite disgusting really because it's actually about alleged victims of sexual assault. Speaking on the news agent's podcast, Smart explained that he has probably questioned Russell on his behavior over the years, before adding that they've had challenging conversations. The BBC Radio 5 Live presenter told Emily Maitlis and Lewis Goodall, I know for a fact, and this is a really, really important point to make, there are a lot of good people who are victims of Russell's as well in a different way because of his behavior. His bullying, his manipulation, and there are a lot of people suffering at the moment as a result of this because they're questioning their role in what happened. And people called him out, people definitely called him out. And then Russell is an incredibly charming man and then would turn that back and say how dare you question me? Or how can you say that? And you will see from his career history and from the people has worked with that they've fallen by the wayside because of that. Since the allegations emerged last weekend, more women have come forward and made fresh claims. One woman, who chose to remain anonymous, came forward with new allegations about an incident with allegedly took place in 2008. She claims it took place when she was working for an organization in the same building as the BBC in Los Angeles. The woman never made a formal complaint, however, BBC management was informed about the incident in 2019, but no formal action was taken. She claims she answered the door to Brand and his team on June 16, who were set to pre-record an episode of the Russell Brand show. Meanwhile, another claimed to Sky News that while traveling in Russell's car, and alleged that he jumped on her. She added, the limo driver was turning around a few times because I was saying no, but he ripped a hole, more than one hole, in the tights that I was wearing. The woman insists that she and Russell had consensual sex, but she adds that there was a fine line between being forced and coerced. She added, I wanted to leave and I said, I need to get a taxi. And he said, I'm not going to get you a taxi until you do this, which was a sex act. Brand has continually denied the initial allegations and has not responded to the further claims which have been made. In a video statement shared last week he said, I've received two extremely disturbing letters or a letter and an email. One from a mainstream media TV company, one from a newspaper listing a litany of extremely egregious and aggressive attacks, as well as some pretty stupid stuff like community festival should be stopped, that I shouldn't be able to attack mainstream media narratives on this channel. But amidst this litany of astonishing rather broke attacks, often very serious allegations that I absolutely refute. 
These allegations pertain to the time when I was working in the mainstream when I was in the newspapers all the time when I was in the movies. And as I've written about extensively in my books, I was very, very promiscuous. Now, during that time of promiscuity, the relationships I had were absolutely always consensual. I was always transparent about that. Then almost too transparent, and am being transparent about it now as well. And to see that transparency metastasized into something criminal that I absolutely deny makes me question, is there another agenda at play? If you've been a victim of sexual assault, you can access help and resources via www.rapecrisis.org.uk or calling the National Telephone Helpline on 0808 802 9999 Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads. Russell Brand was approached for comment.